Oh, it's Black Skywalker. So, I'm building a Chaos Army. Which means this Razorback is about to get repurposed and to turn into a Chaos Rhino. So what I need to do is pop this out. I think this will be fine. Pop this out. Replace it. Take off these symbols of the Imperium. I'll finally be able to take off these lights because I put them on in the wrong place. I don't you can probably tell like right away. Yeah, they're in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, that's going to come off and it's going to go like here. I'll probably add some more bullet holes. I liked the way I did the mud on this. Like, this was my first vehicle I ever painted. Because I don't think a Redemptor Dreadnought counts as a vehicle. So, you know, I just wanted to get some pictures of it. I'm going to take these little ammo crates, the storage crates, and the fuel pod, the fuel canisters off. One so I can cast these so I can use them for terrain. Uh, and probably cast these so I can use them also for terrain, but also for, you know, just, just basic material and such. Uh... Yeah, I used this thing like once, because my space marines are mostly Primaris. My only non-Primaris space marines are my scouts. And I don't run my scouts like at all anymore. They're probably going to get popped, popped apart, if you know what I mean. And used for bases. That's not true. I'm not going to do that to them. But this, this is definitely getting turned into a Chaos Rhino, because that way... Should I buy another Chaos Rhino kit, I will have two, rather than one. Ah. I hope I kept the bits. I think I did. I, I know I did. I have the box somewhere. I just have to find it. Whew. Wow. I'm gonna have to repaint it. Oh my god. I haven't told you what Chaos Army I'm playing. Emperor's Children. That's what I'm doing. My plan? Chaos Start Collecting Box. Demons of Slanesh. Demon Prince. Another Chaos Start Collecting Box eventually. Why? Because that'll put me at like a thousand something points. Also, because one of my friends has corn, one of my friends has thousand suns. If someone gets death guard. Oh my god, speaking of my friends, we tried some drunk hammer. We didn't finish the game. You're a little bit more important right now. We didn't finish the game, but I left all my guardsmen at my friend's house. And I really wanted to paint today. I really wanted to build today. Like, I was going to build my, my Seraphon start collecting box. Because I guess we're getting the AOS and I've had it unbuilt for like two, three months now. Oh, I love this hobby. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is to get me over my hype. Or really to sate my hype for my Emperor's children, I'm going to paint the sequitur as one of the Emperor's children. Just so I can work out colors and really see what I want to do. And I also get a bit of skin to work on. And that'll be nice for the daemons. Yeah. I always love looking at a Xenophil. Like I probably I base coated this black and then gave it a little Xenophil of light gray. 
flat gray that I use for my uh, guard. Oh, I can't wait to paint it. Need to pop you in the freezer. Yeah, you're going in the freezer, buddy. You're going in the freezer. I got a fresh belly. Wet belly. Got me a fresh wet belly. So, what I'm going to do is figure out what kind of paints I'm going to use. Am I going to use some scar tissue? Maybe for the skin, you know? Maybe, maybe for the skin, you know? What about the armor? What kind of pink am I going to use for the armor? Oh my gosh, there's so many choices. Luckily, I just bought pink recently because of my Sarah font. Well, how did that happen? Yeah, you shorping over there, puppy? Okay, buddy. Dogs use their tongues as ladles, and that's funny. Okay, so this right here is my Seraphon boy. This is what my entire army is going to look like. I painted him up a while ago just to keep me motivated. Just so I would know like what I wanted out of them. He's got some blue eyes. So I guess I'm going to go for the pink, like on here, on the top, for the armor panels. And then I'm going to put a little matte black with some uniform gray in it for the fabrics. Using pure black to get the shadows. And pure uniform gray for the highlights, probably with a little bit of filthy cape. I'm not sure what I'll do for the shield. And... Hmm. I need to do some brush maintenance. Uh, and then, I really want to get... What are you doing, dog? I want to get these uh, armor bits. I want to work gunmetal and, like, chainmail into my scheme on my Emperor's Children. I want them to be into some really weird kind of BDSM, if you know what I mean. Chains. Not rope. Chains. I'm not sure how I'm going to paint this hammer. If I even paint the hammer, I probably will. You know, no reason not to. Oh, she's got a nasty little mold line right there. That's fine. It doesn't matter all that much. And I know that for my Emperor's Children, a lot of them are going to be on more dynamic bases. For my guard, I'm trying everyone on the same. Whenever I one day finish my Space Marines, they'll all be on the same base. But for my Emperor's Children, I want them to be on similar bases, but I want them to be more of a show army. Like, more of an artistic army. Because, I don't know, I, I, I like it. So I'll pay a little attention to this right here. So this is the easy to build sequitur, I got it from my local game store, they were like, hey, here, and I was like, cool, because I was trying to practice magnets. Yeah, that's right, she's got a magnet in her. And then I gave up, and I was just like, I'm just going to do it whole hog. And I did it whole hog, and it worked out. So yeah, I'm going to figure out what kind of paints I want on her. Uh, hopefully, one day I'll have a really good looking mini. I don't have all day to paint it. I got D&D. &D. Oh, I gotta write for D&D. &D. I'll do it later. I have D&D &D today. I gotta go to work at some point. Ugh. Man. It, I'm excited. I want my Chaos Army now. But I'm not done with my guard yet. So I can't do it. But I will get the Demon Prince. Oh, I will. All right. Bye. Well, I say bye. You know, I'll see you. I'll see you next time I pick up the camera and go like, yo. It's me. Is there a good cutaway here? I'm about to head to work.
So I was doing a little pre-work painting. I actually did change out my wet palette before I went to play Warhammer that time. And now, I think I'm in love with Pixie Pink. I am excited to have like an army of this color. Because even my, my lizard folk, they're more purple, you know? Because I'm using the voluptuous pink contrast paint or whatever it is from Citadel. But oh, I just really like this pink. Let me. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, now I just gotta finish painting the entire mini. I won't have time to do that before work. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens when I get back to it. <gasps> I forgot about the rhino! Oh snap! Gotta go get it. Hey, hey, I'll be back! So, what was I able to save? Not as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. Uh, what I was able to scavenge from my Razorback, converting it to a Chaos Rhino, because, you know, no Primaris. Uh, well, one, let's see what I did. I took off the Razorback back. I wasn't able to save it because I cut into it with my trusty little clipper so I could bend it off because I tried to pop it off and preserve it so I could put the heavy bolter in there, you know, in case I ever did want to switch it out. It just wasn't fitting, though. So, I said, bump it, I'm going to cut it out. And now, we have the OG Rhino doors there. Chaos Rhinos have Havoc launchers on them. I'm not sure how I'll model that. But that's not what's important right now. Uh, I was able to save most of this right here. Uh, the little tow cable. That really won't matter. I'm going to leave... What is that? It's not a dozer blade. It's something else. I'm going to leave that on there because it looks cool. And when I get the other spikes and such on here to make it look all chaosy, add some chain, it'll be pretty lit. And it'll be this color. <laughs> I moved the lights. I just popped those off. It was pretty darn easy to do. It was pretty darn easy to do. Uh, I'm leaving this on here. I'll use it as a combi bolter. I'm not sure where to go here. What came off of here was the Hunter Killer Missile. I accidentally knocked it with an X-Acto knife and it fell off like that. So I said, fuck it. I'm excited. I want to paint it. But I don't have all the bits that I'm going to put on there. So, there's no point in painting it now. Now it's just a black rhino. It's already looking pretty, uh, what's that thing? Black Legion? I don't know. I don't care. The Abaddon ones, you know. You know. So, yeah. I'm gonna make this look all chaosy. Hopefully by the time I get a chaos rhino kit, so I'll have two chaos rhinos for the price of, well... Two chaos rhinos and a little bit extra work. <laughs> but. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm excited. Alright. I was also able to save this little crate. The gas canisters. And the Aquila. I was not expecting to be able to save this. That's. That's going to be nice to put on some things. Because I have a. Uh, I have Space Marines, I have my Iron Hearts, you know, I can always cast this, and that'll be fun. I really can't wait to start casting these, because I've needed more crates for terrain, you know. And my friendly local game store has not gotten a restock, because, you know, COVID. So this, this will help, and it'll help me make nice little scatter. Yeah, that's the Rhino Diaries. Maybe next time you see this, it'll be all chaotic and pink. Pink. Oh, and what's the name going to be? 
I'm not sure what the name's going to be. I'll have to think about it. Woo! Alright. I'll see you guys later, next time. My iron hearts will probably be painted and based, or at least some of them will. And I'll be showing you all that, hopefully. And, yeah. Alright. Hobby Vlog, out! Boop!